right, all right, let me see, let me see. I hope I can have more days, even years. You will have, you will have five days left. What the heck? Five, how is that possible? Like five years, right? Five years, no, no, it's five days, no. After panicking for 10 seconds. No, 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 it can't be. The other day I just came back from a fortune telling. The fortune teller told me I would live a long time. So this must be a bullshit. No, this is real. You only have five days left to live. So deal with it. Egg, where did that voice come from? Are you here to make fun of me? Like I only have five days left and you still mocking me? Chill, girl, I'm not done yet. I hadn't finished saying the next part before you interrupted me. So do I have more time? No. So what is important about what you are about to say? At least listen to me. Uh, fine. Hopefully it's news that makes me feel better. The fewer your days, the more money you will have. What? Since you only have five days left, you will have five billion dollars. Five what? Five billion dollars? Isn't that five billion Robux? What's the use of having five billion Robux? At best, they only help you get rich in Roblox. The money in there cannot be spent outside. So useless. Moreover, with five billion dollars, you can freely buy Robux. No, no, I mean I understand that. But if there are only five days left, what does five billion mean? I'm not in a good mood to spend that money. Come on, don't think too negatively. You advised a person who has five days left to live not to think negatively. It's like I say I'm hot and you say cool down. What do you expect from a system like mine? It's good that I can talk to you like this. Or at least you can spend that money on the people you love, right? Yeah, that makes sense. <sighs> I guess I just started thinking about how to spend my money freely. Okay, wish you happy. I hope so. I'll, I'll talk, talk to, to my, my boyfriend, boyfriend first. first. Babe, here you are. I, wah, the heck. He didn't even wait for me to finish the conversation. Jeff, Jeff, answer me. I need to talk right now. Egg, what the hell? Don't you see that I'm busy? I, I don't know that. But I really want to talk to you. Like it's really important. Did you just find a diamond? No. So you just won the lottery? No. So what's important? The heck. But you didn't even listen to me. I don't want to hear something too lame. You understand? Now get out. I need some space. I remember I already told you about I really need some time alone. Don't control me like my ex-girlfriend. No, no, no. I'm not doing like that. I just want to talk. So if you don't have a free time then... Okay, then bye. Wait, Jeff. What happened to him? Lately he's been treating me like that all the time. What did I do wrong? I think that person with a problem is you. What? You think so too? Yeah, but not like him. I mean you're dumber than you look. Excuse me? I said what I said. 15 minutes later. So do you guys want to hang out this weekend? I'll buy drinks for everyone. Yeah. yeah. Great, then let's close the deal. But wait a minute. What about your girlfriend? I mean Iris. She still doesn't know about our date and everyone has already finalized the deal. Oh, you don't have to worry about her. I mean Jeff is her boyfriend. They will talk about this to each other anyway. But, yeah, don't worry. Besides, this time I just want to hang out with you guys, not her. What? Lately, I don't want to talk to Iris. Huh? What happened? She's been a bit noisy lately. Besides that, She's still ridiculously jealous. She's making me feel so tired. I wish she and I didn't know each other from the beginning. Dude, what the heck? Oh my see? I already told you from the beginning that she doesn't suit you. These love stories always give me a headache. It's best for you to be single. Really? Guys, all we're doing is talking bad about her behind her back. I don't participate. I just came for the free drinking water. Calm down, bro. It's just my true feeling about her. What the? Imagine if she said the same to you. Are you as calm as you are now? Nah, she would never say that to me. I can't believe you can said that. And you look like you care about her quite a bit. Do you like her? What no, I? He's definitely into her. Only if he likes her would he worry about her like that. Are you crazy? I I don't like her. Hey guys, what's up? I've only been offline for 10 minutes, but I've already seen people chatting happily like this. Oh, there you are, honey. Speak of the devils. Huh? What happened? 
Did I just miss something? Yeah, Timmy just said something bad about you. What the heck? Really? No, I'm not. Come on, guys. I know he didn't do that. He's a really nice guy. Yes, thank you for believing me, Iris. You're not funny at all. I'm just kidding. It's not funny, you know. All right, all right. Anyway, I have something to tell. Do you guys want to play some games? Yeah, what games? I'm bored as hell. I just want to do something to kill time. Um, I have something important to say. Do you want to play Da Hood or Ragdoll? Yeah, cool. I love that. Guys, seriously, Iris was trying to talk and people kept interrupting her. What's everyone's problem? What does she talk? Probably because she spoke so softly that I couldn't hear anything. Same thought. I don't know. What nonsense is that? Oh, please don't argue. I'm still fine. I just want to say something to you guys. About what? Can you say it quickly? I don't have much time. I think I'm the one who needs to say that. What do you mean? Did you receive any news from Roblox this morning? I mean about how many days you have. Oh, that? Nothing special. Wait, so does that mean you guys also received the same news? That's right. What's so special about it? Of course, it is. I also received this exact same message. I thought I was the only one who received it. Oh, so you all got the same news. How much time do you have left? Why do you care about that? We are still very young. Of course, we still have a lot of time. So these announcements are meaningless. Same thought. What? Like, how much do you have? I have 80 years. I am 78 years. Mine is 92 years. And I am 103 years old. Damn, too much. Yeah. I also think like you, but it's probably because I live a healthy life that I have so much time. But I... Yeah, so let's put this nonsense aside and play something else. I'm bored. Same. Wait, you guys haven't heard what Iris said. Come on, dude. She must have had 70 to 80 years. Yeah, probably at least 50 years. No, I... Let's play the hood, guys. Yeah, let's play. I, I can't believe it. You guys didn't want to hear me. Am I that bad? Are you crazy? Then you just say what you need to say. You keep hesitating as if you have laryngeal disease. And say it quickly. Bro, why are you yelling at her? Calm down, Iris. You must not do that, you know? I have only five days. And it's five days, not 50 years. What? what? Haha, are you kidding? Like five days? Really? You can't be that unlucky. What the? Hey, you still laugh about that. Oh, come on, guys. Look at the reality. She is definitely lying. I'm not lying. Why don't you trust me? Oh, because I think you're doing like that because you want attention from Jeff. Don't be a pick-me, duh. How is that make me a pick-me? I'm just saying the truth. Wait, you serious? Yes, damn it, yes. How is that possible? How the hell I know? The only thing I'm trying to tell everyone is that I have very little time left. And that's why I hope everyone will listen to me. Because you people are the only friends I have. But all you guys do is ignore me. I want to say this as soon as possible. I want to. But you guys don't let me do that. Only Timmy thinks about me. Iris, I'm so sorry. I, I don't know it. But what can I help? Babe, can we chat in private? I need to tell you this. Egg, fine. Finally, Finally he, listens he listens to me. To me. Can you guys wait? Egg, fine. No idea. Okay. So I'm listening. What do you want now? Huh? What do you mean? Well, then if you don't say it, I'll say it first. Let's break up. Wait, what? You hear me? Let's break up. I can love someone who is about to die. You, this is all you want to say to me after all. Like I'm your girlfriend. Well, then not be it anymore. I'm tired of you. Jeff, you are so cruel. We have been in love for more than two years. Yeah, and you know how boring it is. There are many girls out there who are more beautiful than you. I actually wanted to break up with you for a long time. But I still don't have a good reason. Now I have a reason. And lucky me. Is it your luck that I die? So you've always thought that way about me? Well, I love you so much. That's because you're so stupid. I don't understand why you love me so much. Either way, we'll break up. Or are you thinking about us having a wedding? Stop that, Jeff. Can you stop hurting me, please? I won't beg you to stay because I have so little time left. But you are too cruel for me. Do you have to say that to me? Do people who are about to die still care about so many things? I'm starting to think you're lying. Shut up, enough. I don't want to talk to you anymore. You asshole. Brew, just leave. I don't care anyway. I'm single now. I'm back. Wait, 
Where is Iris? She's busy. So suddenly like that. So, you have a problem. Ugh, but... Let's play now, guys. I can't wait anymore. Yeah, same here. Not me. What's wrong with him? Did he really think Iris only had five days left? I'm 100% sure she's lying. He was tricked by her. Oh, speaking of Iris, we broke up. I'm completely single. Oh my god, really? I'm so happy for you, boy. Finally, I have a chance. Oh, what do you mean? Are you flirting with me? What do you think? Ahem. I'm still here and still single. Dude. Haha, uh -huh, sorry bro. Let's talk about it later. Okay, handsome. Iris, do you hear me? Hello. I don't know what he said to you that made you leave so suddenly. But I just want you to know that I believe you. And I want to spend time with you. He may treat you badly, but not me, so. Timmy, you don't have to do this. I think I'll be fine. No, you're not fine. I can see that. <sighs> we broke up already. What? Even when he knows you only have five days left? Yeah. Damn it. What's wrong with him? Is he crazy? Well, but I think that's not bad. Because he doesn't treat you well at all. So it was right that he left. Excuse me? What? I'm just saying the truth. Like he's really a red flag guy. I don't know why you still love him after all of that. I mean, he usually treated you bad. You can see that too, right? Uh, you're right. Then why are you still? Because I think no one will love me like him. I did. I love you, Iris, but you just don't know it. Oh my, oh my god. god. I don't, I don't know, know about that. that. I, thought I thought I would I be, would alone, be alone, alone for the for rest, rest of my, of my life. life. Thank you, Timmy. Thanks to your words, I don't feel lonely anymore. Then let's not talk about Jeff anymore. Let's talk about something more fun. For example, where do you like to hang out the most? I'm willing to spend my time to take you everywhere you want, as long as you like it. I'm willing to do everything within my reach. Even though I only have five days left to live? Even for just one day, I still want to be with you. Oh, I wish I could have met you sooner. It's never too late, at least now you know my feeling. So do you want to be my boyfriend, Timmy? Of course, that's always what I dreamed about. You make me emotional, Timmy. But that also makes me want to tell you this secret. I'm listening. I have five billion dollars. Okay, and? What? Aren't you surprised by that? The fact that you have five days left is shocking. Can five dollars billion solve anything? If that amount of money could make you live longer, I'd be surprised. Oh my, oh my. he's, a, he's really a really nice, nice guy. guy. We, should we should have, have fallen, fallen in love, in love sooner. sooner. Thank you so much, Timmy. I will buy you a new house because you said your family was having trouble, right? Hold on. Please don't refuse me. Let's say I'm doing what I wanted to do before I died. I never gave you anything back then. <sighs> All right, but at least buy something for yourself or your family. Of course I would. After that, Iris spent most of the money to support her family. She tried to use the money in the most worthy way for both herself and everyone around her. Oh my god, oh my god. What happened, babe? What's wrong? Don't you guys know that? Iris is a billionaire. What? When did you hear that? The internet. There is an online newspaper saying that she has donated more than $2 billion to orphanages. Even helped a lot of homeless people. Many newspapers said so. She even appeared on a TV show. Do you really know nothing? I rarely watch new news. Same here. Egg, you're all stupid. She even bought Timmy a house and a new car. What the heck? Impossible. What the? Where is he going? Is his Wi-Fi go off or something? He must have gone looking for Iris. This jerk. He did so right after hearing me talk about Iris. I think I should look for her too. Are you dreaming? She won't give us money. Because we all treated her badly. I never did that. It was only you and Jeff who treated Iris badly. Egg, those idiots. She will never give you money. Iris, where are you? I need to talk. I knew it. You'll find me after all I've done. Shh. I can't believe you're that kind of person. No, no. Please listen to me. I don't want us to make up. I just want to be friends with you again. Because I know I can't come back to you. After all I've done. You're right. So what do you think? Can I have a chance? <sighs> Fine. If you want to be my friend then. Great, thank you so much, Iris. You're so kind. Okay, are you done? Because I need to spend my time to someone I love. Wait, wait, I have one more thing. 
quickly. Since we are friends, can I have some money? You know, I have a hard time lately. What? You don't have to give me much. Just $1 million is fine. I can have that. What the hell are you thinking, Jeff? Like for real? What? Then what about $900,000? It's a little money, but I guess I'm fine with that. Shut up, jerk. I'll never give you money. What the hell? Why are you so selfish? You can't bring that money to hell, right? I'm just trying to help. Help? Like this? After all you've done to me? Now I can see how bad you are, Jeff. At first I thought you'll say sorry to me and at least we can be friends again. But after this conversation, I hate you. Hey, you're being mean. Mean? Then what about you? You said those things to me, like broke up with me after you know I only have five days left. Having a girlfriend right after breakup with me, and now asking money from me? You're such a bitch, Jeff. Son of a bitch. Dickhead. What? I don't want to see you again. Goodbye, jerk. No, wait. Damn it. She's that rich, but can't give me that money. I have to. Warning. If you want to steal money from a person and have less days, your days will become like them. The heck. Impossible. After that, Jeff can't does anything else with Iris anymore. So now she can rest with her last days. And of course with her boyfriend too. The end. This is why we don't get along with people. She didn't need to be so rude about the whole situation. She's overreacting. She's a literal pick me that it's annoying. I don't know guys. Maybe we misunderstood her intentions. How dense can you be Mark? She was obviously obsessed with you, in every way, shape, and form. I'm sorry, I just cannot bring myself into thinking bad of people. Yes, we know that's really sweet of you. But you need to be careful people are mean, and can easily advantage of your kindness. Yes, bro, I've told you many times. I get it, I get it. I'll be careful from now on. But are we going to ignore the fact that she helped us discover something? Yeah, Mark, you never told us that you liked. Hey guys, I'm finally back. Wait, Mark was just about to tell us who he likes. Or not. Marcus, can you ask him? Yeah, I'll try and see. Okay, before anything else happens, let's rewind and give you guys info. This is Hannah. She's 17 and bisexual she they. This is Alice 16 and bisexual she her. This is Marcus, my twin brother. He sounds different because he unfortunately had an accident and made his voice change dramatically. He's straight and he's 17. This is Aiden, I hum. I've been crushing on him ever since we met that have never had the courage to tell him since he doesn't swing this way. He's 17 and he's strange. And lastly, I'm Mark and I'm gay. Now let's go back. I will never admit it. Why are you so stubborn about your sexuality? You don't get it. My parents wouldn't accept that. Accept what? Don't worry about it, Mark. Okay. Anyone wants to play my Hello Kitty Cafe? Sure, I'll join you, Alice. Oh my, they didn't even ask us. Well, what do you guys want to play? I was thinking of... Hi, guys. Now, how in the hell did you join? I have my ways. Anyways, hello, Mark. Oh, hi, Mia. Why is she here? No one like her, and she bothers me. Did you miss me? I wait, him. Mia, stop bothering my brother. He's not bothered. He clearly likes me. I never said that. But you told everyone that we were dating. No, I did not. Someone else started the rumors. I'm sorry, but I cannot return your feelings. I'm not going to give up. You're going to fall in with me sooner or later. Bro, he doesn't like you. Stop bothering him. He already has someone special and wants nothing to do with you. I have someone special. And how would you know that? Because I am the someone special now, get out. What is this goofy audio? I am your someone special. I, I have to go. Aiden, I need a shoulder to cry on. I'll be there. I'm literal steps away, Lumeo. I pick up big time. I'm so confused. Do I actually like Mark? I can't like him. It's wrong for me to like a boy. My parents will kill me. But then again, his voice energy towards me. The attention he gives me. I think I do like Mark. I can't tell him how I feel. Not yet. I need to confirm my feelings for him. He basically rejected me when I... Asked him if he meant what he said. He was probably nervous. You can't blame the poor guy. I'm not blaming him, but I won't give him any more trouble either. Do you mean? I'm going to have to move on from Aiden. You sure this is the best for you? I'm not, but I'd rather keep things normal between us. Okay, 
As long as you are okay with this then I'll support you. Thank you Marcus. Of course, you're my brother. Let's go back to the group chat. Why was everyone gone when we got back? Mia Joy made a mess. And then left and things got a little awkward afterwards. What? You all didn't call us. You look like you're having fun so we didn't. My apologies. It's okay, don't worry Mark. I'll go play the foot for a little bit. See you guys later. Is Mark okay Marcus? He doesn't usually play the hood by himself. I'll explain everything to you guys. I don't even feel like playing. I just wanted to get away for a little while. Hey man, this is a shooting game not a relax and chill one. It's a game. I can do whatever I want to. Yeah, but people won't leave you alone. Just looking out for ya. Why thank you? Why are you being nice but rude? Sorry, it's a thing I'm working on. Don't worry what's your name? I'm Teddy. I'm Mark nice to meet you. Lovely name it fits you. Thank you so much I don't get that often. Yeah, no problem. Want to join my group chat? They're really nice people. Yes, sure. Hey guys, this is Teddy. I met him on David. Hello, nice you'll meet you all. I'm I'm Hannah. I'm Alice. I'm Marcus, Mark's twin brother. Excuse me if I'm being rude, but you all sound really different for being twins. It's a really long story. I don't want to touch that topic either. Oh sorry, you don't have to. Okay, we're only missing Aiden. I wonder where he is. Hey, guys. Speaking of the closeted homosexual. Omeo, come on. We talked about this. Yeah, it's still funny though. Nice to meet you, Aiden. I'm Teddy. Oh, I didn't know you joined. Nice to meet you as well, Teddy. Hey, Mark, can we talk in private really quick? Yes, of course. What you wanted to talk to me about. It gets a little awkward, but I just wanted to know everyone's sexuality. Sorry if that sounds weird. Don't worry, you're completely fine. They are all comfortable with sharing their sexualities. So I'll tell you. Hannah is bisexual. Alice is bisexual. Aiden is straight. My twin brother is straight and I'm gay. Oh, I see, I see. I was asking just in case because I'm pansexual and I don't know people are homophobic. Yes, I understand, but don't worry. No one is us judges here. We all support each other. That's really nice. I'm glad I stumbled upon you. Oh yes. Now, let's head back before they get worried. That took longer than expected. Yes, but now we're here so it's fine. How come Aiden is gone whenever everyone is on? At this point is normal in him. Making a new avatar is hard. I'm finally back. Oh, I like the change Aiden. It definitely suits you better. What they said, no offense of course. Don't worry. It was time for a change anyways. But thank you guys. Anyone down to play anything? I'm really bored. They all play games. Three months passes after that, and they all became really close to each other. But Mark and Teddy became much closer than the others. I'm a log off for today. See you all tomorrow, guys. And Mark, don't forget dinner again. I've been missing dinner a couple times, but not that much. Me and Teddy just lose track of time when we playing. Sorry to interrupt, but me and Alice are going on a date. Have fun, you guys. Why do you always spend so much time with Teddy? You always forget about us about me. You got distant from me just to be with Teddy. You're even missing dinner just because you're playing with him. This is something you two need to talk about alone. I'll give you guys some space to talk. Why do you suddenly have a problem with me playing with Teddy? You were the one who kept pushing me away when I was to get close to you. That's because I was scared and didn't know how to react. Scared of what? You are not making any sense, Aiden. When you asked me if I was truly your someone special, I panicked and got nervous. I was overthinking a lot of things because I don't know my sexuality and I didn't want to date you just because I felt like it. I needed to see if my feelings were real. What are you trying to say? I'm saying that after these three months, I finally accepted the fact that I might be bisexual, but I don't like other boy besides you and it's confusing me. Wait, you like me? Yes, I am sure of it and I don't have any doubts. I just regret finding out so late. What do you mean by finding out so late? You and Teddy became so close. It looks like you care more about him than me and it hurts. I've been hurting for the past months. You think that I like Teddy? Yes. I've tried to move on from you because you were convinced that you were straight. I tried to not give you any more problems. And just when I was about to move on you confessed to me. I'm sorry. I just needed to figure out so many things out. If you want me to back off, I will. No, I understand that going through all of that. I don't blame you. So now what? Well... Mark, we need to talk. 
Now, let's keep this conversation later. What happened, Marcus? He called me Zaddy. How? It doesn't matter who. I'm panicking. Why are you panicking? You and your other friends call each other that all the time, no? Yes, but this is different. When he called me and I felt flustered. And I messed up my words. Bro, what are you trying to say? I might not be straight, Mark. Do you understand what you're saying right now, Marcus? I don't know. I'm so confused. This is a serious thing, Marcus. It's not bad, but it's serious. You've had experienced this before. What did you do to confirm it? I took some time to process it. I took my feelings seriously and most importantly, I started to carefully watch the person that made me question it. Okay, thank you for the help, Mark. Yeah, no problem. You're my brother after all. But who is this boy that's making you question your entire existence? You'll never believe it, but it's... Sorry for being in way between you and Mark. I didn't mean to. No, don't worry, man. It was my and my jealousy who got the best of me. So, we are goat. Yeah. Oh my god, finally. I can't believe I found the group chat. I'm sorry, but who are you? I'm Luna, I joined because... I saw Mark and Marcus in this group chat and it's public. So, yeah. So, that's how people kept join. Yeah. I'll have to tell Mark to make it private. Hey guys, sorry for the wait. Oh, who's this? Hi, it's me, Luna. It's been a while. Luna, as in my ex. Yes, you remember me. Well, yes, how could I forget? I am lost. You're not the only one. Basically, me and Marcus dated for eight months, but broke up because of personal reasons. We are in wonderful terms, though. Oh my, that's really nice. Yeah, do you want to talk in private and up on some things, Luna? Yes, I would love to. Well, now this is awkward. Imma go play dayhood. See you guys later. Well, hum, should we keep talking about before? We don't need to. How, but what do you mean? Mark, I know you've been hurt many times. Because of me and I can't put into words how much I regret it. But I'll try my best to make it better. Would you like to be my boyfriend? I beauty, I thought you were still trying to figure this thing out. No, I am completely sure of it. I love you, Mark, and your gender does not matter to me. Either way, because you're you. Mark, are you there? Yes, I would love to be your boyfriend. My god, you scared me. Sorry, I was making. Well, it is. We are officially dating Mark. I'm so happy I can't put it into words. Well, I'm going to make you even happier. So, you want to match avatars? Oh my god, yes I adore matching. Yep, I know you do, let's look for some outfits. While so many things have happened, I'm impressed. Yeah, I would say I surprised as well. I'm glad you're here, but why did you suddenly came back? Well, if I'm being honest, I missed us and I was wondering if you could give us another chance. Oh, I missed us to Luna, but that was in the past, and I'm a little confused with myself at the moment. Oh, I see it's fine. I can wait for you when you're ready. It's way more complicated than that, Luna. Do you perhaps want to talk about it? Maybe it'll help. I'm sorry, but I don't feel comfortable with that. I see. Don't worry, take your time. And good luck with what you're going through. Thank you for understanding, Luna. Yes, of course. You're my first love after all. Let's head back to the group chat. There might be some people that you still don't know. My god, there was less people before. Yeah, we've all been here. Oh, and sorry for not saying hello to you earlier, Luna. I was a little busy. Don't worry about it, Mark. It's completely fine. Well, let's all introduce ourselves, yeah. You all know my twin brother. This is Luna, she's straight. This my my boyfriend Prechiro bisexual. This is Hannah 17. This is Alice. Many of you already know this. But there's new people and new avatars. Making sure none of you get confused. It's nice to meet you all. Same, Ima go play Dahoud like always. Do you want to join me Marcus? Ah uh, yes of course. Well I have to help my mom with something. See you guys later. So is it just me or was Marcus a little nervous? When Teddy asked him to play? I thought I was the only one who noticed. Well, we all definitely did. I wonder what's up with him. Yeah, me too. He doesn't usually act like that. Teddy is definitely the one who called him Zaddy. I said yes to play with you. But I genuinely don't know how to play. Well, Mayo, I'll teach you Zaddy. I, Teddy. What? You're going to get nervous again and mess up your words. That was one time. You, I mean, you caught me off guard. You're doing it again, sweetheart. Sweetheart? Does it bother you me calling you that? My heart is beating so fast that I can my cheeks are so pink I can't. Marcus, how hi hum. I need a moment, Teddy. 
Oh, Shiti, did I took it too far? Marcus told me he was straight yet I made him uncomfortable. I should leave him alone for a little bit. Is this definitely not just a confusion? I think I have a crush on Teddy. Meanwhile... It's been months ever since we met. Anyone down for a face reveal? Me and Mark have seen each other, but yes, sure. Same goes with me and my wallower. Shouldn't we wait for the others? Yes, of course. Okay, I need to remember what Mark said and process everything, but I'm going to talk with Teddy first. I basically dumped him here. Teddy, Teddy, get over here. Sorry about earlier. I didn't mean to make you uncomfortable. You didn't. You just made me panic because I always thought I was straight. Wait, are you questioning your sexuality because of me? No, T. Sherlock. I apologize. I was just joking around at first. Yeah, I've always joked around with sus jokes with my friends, but it's just different now for some reason. Maybe you're just exploring or curious. Whatever it is, it's your fault. And you're going to help me with it. I'll take full responsibility. Let's go back. Finally, we're all here now. Did we miss something? We were going to do a face reveal. Oh, I'm down, I don't mind. I'm finally going to see what he looked like. God, I'm so scared. How about you, Arlo? Oh, oh yes, me too. Well, I'll go first since. I came up with the idea. This is me. Cool just as always. Oh my god, mommy. You're really pretty you are. Well, I'll go next. This is my gorgeous self too. Literally the hottest person alive. Oh my god. So this is me. Literally marry me. Bet right now. This is me and my cat Momo. Oh my god. And you have a cat too. That's so hot. And no, I don't mean it in a furry way. I mean that boys with cats are hot. Because they are hard to train. Ha ha she ha why thank you babe. Babe. Huh? Oh my god, oh my god. What did we miss? I don't know man that was gay. You are gay too. I'm straight, my boyfriend is in the mayo. Okay okay, me and Marcus are the lost ones who yell. I'm the one in the right. And I'm the one on the left. Kiss me right now. Okay come over. You are respectfully gorgeous, Merricks. It'd be more gorgeous if I was your boyfriend. What? What? Janae continue. 